Yo, I like it. Here's the money. It's, it's the equivalent of your homeboy pops in the room. is like, yo. <laughs> he just pops out. <laughs> All right. Ready, set, go. Mars versus Jackal. He just ran up and grabbed him. Yeah, apparently that low profile doesn't really help him. I guess they finally lowered Tear Suit's uh, <laughs> gravity being a little bit down. But I, I can expect this. So we, we're going to see some explosive punishes from both of them because Pichu can rack up damage super, super quickly. And I feel like the punish game on Zero Suit is, would be pretty lethal. It, it definitely is. She could rack up damage really quick. And she still has Nair to down B, which can kill at extremely early percent. Yeah, that's why. Oh, did he just jab like he was on yeah. the ground with that? He's just too small. <laughs> There's actually going to be a lot of instances where Mars is going to have to think on the fly about how to adjust his combos. I was going to say, Pichu is so low to the ground. Like, I feel like Jackal innately can have a better advantage in neutral because Mars is having to find that opening. That being said, though, he's going to shut me up with that boost kick right there to wrap up that first stock. Hey, bro, yeah. he's, so, he's small. The so small and lightest, in fact. Yeah. But you can't whip grabs in front of ZSS right there. Nah, you can't. I mean, the grab range isn't that big. Everyone act, likes to act like it's ginormous, but he's got little stubby rat arms. Can't really do too much of those. <laughs> wow, the parry on the down air. I like the fact that people are now really getting good at parries. Took them long enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's, it, there's two parts to it. It's a matter of, like, can you get the, t the parry timing, which took people a good amount of time. And then the, the other part, what I think is the more important part, knowing what to do with it. Because you get the parry, you're plus 14 on the advantage, and you're like, well, what do I do? But it's like, like Jackal knows he's got to throw out them quick options. So the first thing I'm noticing is that Jackal's going to have to catch on to these recoveries back on the stage by Mars. He tends to flip kick from the ledge quite a bit, and Jackal's nowhere in near anticipating it. That being said, he anticipates it. <laughs> Wow! I, I mean, he adapted. I, I was mentioning how he needed to adapt, and he did. I, I think he heard you, man. So it shall be, dude. And now he got boost kicked again. That, that was last Pichu's weight. That thing scoops up really well. Even on, I'm surprised that it scoops up so well on on Pichu. It's almost like her legs start from the bottom. <laughs> start from the bottom over here, dude. She's definitely not the same as Smash Four. Oh, he's not. <laughs> She's literally not. Oh, that. Wow. I like that. You can't do the double stun. I completely forgot about it. I was like, get a down smash there. But he, now that Jackal's really on the ropes here, one one scoop up from the boost kick is going to work. He's got to find some way to, because his punishes haven't been too lethal on Mars. Mars has been able to escape a lot of his combos. That being said, a nice nice amount of damage being racked up here. You, know, you should stop talking about the I mean, if games. I keep talking, maybe he'll keep doing good stuff. That being said, the boost kick takes yeah. the third consecutive stock. You're doing a good job of oh, guessing wait, Jackal and watching Mars play beautifully, because that's exactly <laughs> what we saw in that game one. You want to try rooting for Mars a little bit? I'm trying to. I'm trying to get this full game five. <laughs> I might as well bless him or curse him, depending on how this goes. You're, you're definitely a curse. You're like yeah. King Tubbs too. <laughs> All right, hold up. We got the FD pick for game two. Oh, fighting polygon team! Oh my gosh! Here we go, man. So they're going to FD. I think this is a great counter pick for Jackal, honestly. Uh, Zero Suit loves platforms, loves maneuvering around them, and just having a flat stage like this forces Mars to play a little bit more of a linear neutral than he is might be used to on other stages. He also doesn't want to give Mars the platform extension. This alarm is going off. That's that's a, that's a good player alarm. You, that, when that goes off, you know good players are on the, on the screen right now. Listen, all I'm saying, like, platform is gone. Yes, good choice for Jackal. But we've seen historically that Mars performs very well on FD, based purely off the fact that he can move very well on it. Like, he knows that he can't move himself around from platforms. The loops. What? The loops. Is that zero? That the is. We're watching Marvel. Also, can we talk about this song? I feel like we're in, like, a Scooby-Doo chase scene right now or this something. We're going to try to chase the bad guy. <laughs> this is not, like, intense top 48. This is exactly music. intense action. We're definitely watching Shaggy the show. They <laughs> He's only using 2% of his power, man. <laughs> I mean, Pichu was using all of, all of his power. I mean... He little guy, little guy hurts himself when he does the electricity move. He didn't evolve, man. One percent. So he's holding the Eviolite. Like, that's I how think, he survives. So one thing I think Mars is doing a great job right now is not overextending in neutral. He's keeping him at an impressive range with that whip, using Zero Suit's move. That move, like, Zare might have been nerfed a little bit for that zone breaking, but he's doing such a great job of just keeping Jackal at bay. One thing I'd like to see Jackal do is probably not jump as much. He, he's, he's coming in with these uh, empty hop approaches a lot, and Mars is able to stuff them out by doing retreating aerials, so... The problem is, is that most of what Pichu's going to be trying to get on a tall character like CSS is starting oh with the air up air. Oh my gosh. But that was like 60. Being in the air is such a problem. You're absolutely correct. You feel like a bit of down tilt or like even a dash attack. Just something to get Mars off the ground. 
Up tilt. Nah. Can now follow up. Mars is at 171. Yeah, can I get a quick forward tilt? Back air will do the job, too. I feel like Jackal's also giving Mars, like, a too much respect in neutral. Like, he's always resetting to this mid-range once he realizes, realizes he can't get in. I feel like he should just stay in Zero Suit's face, like, the entire time. If she, she can't really get out any of her retreating aerials if you're constantly stuffing her out. I think he's really afraid, because last time he was in the face, <laughs> he, he got boost kicked. Yeah. <laughs> it's not about him. that. You also have to remember that Jab is... Jab manages to hit Peach's big head. Like, it, it, it hits a low enough of a profile that Mars is able to throw out an extremely quick option to stuff Jackal. And then once Pichu's just sitting there, Mars opens them up. And we've seen that throughout the set so far. All right. Okay, grabbing him. Good Wait for the air dodge. And yeah. flip clicks past him. Mars doesn't even have to worry about getting gimped by Pichu, who's so good off stage because he's been able to just recover instantly every time. That flip kick creates so much distance. You can regain center stage in one second just off of doing that flip kick. That flip kick. It's kind of cheap. Jackal bringing it back, though, pretty nicely. Oh, oh couldn't get the right off. hitbox on that. All right, he's respecting that. I like that. Because that one flip kick could actually spell that for him. And Jack Jackal oh. needs to stuff off the empty hops that Mars is doing it. That was almost death off of that stiletto. Yeah, watch yourself. It reminds me of Bayo, man. <laughs> <laughs> ah, the good old days. <laughs> Good for who? Oh, no! Not he, for Pichu! He B reversed it. Oh, it's best of five. Yes, it is. Yeah. All right. So this is the part where people say he has the download. He gave him the two hands. <laughs> Excuse you? <laughs> and see, see? And now he will try. <laughs> He's going to bring it back now. And you got some dude in, from Jersey and Twitch chat going, yo, dude about to mop this dude up. <laughs> It's like, it's bro, definitely dark what matter. is happening? Is he switching his character? Oh, we're Jackal, see the wolf. Oh, you were making a we're comeback. See the wolf? Oh, no. You, okay. No shmooving allowed. Is that, I, is that allowed? All right, yeah, so that's allowed. So we see the switch to Ike. Um, this is looking a little worse for Mars because I feel like while Marth has such strong aerials, I feel like Pichu is just great attacking on obscene amounts of damage, and also his <laughs> Ike's disadvantage state is not the greatest. He's pretty much combo food. But Nair. Yeah, Nair's <laughs> nice if you can land it. If you can land it. I mean, this is what we saw, you know, akin to MKLeo at Genesis. You know, he would get, you know, those those basic bread and butters off of Nair. But then in his when he was getting punished, he exploded. Well, I mean, that's the problem with Ike. He's a heavy boy, and a lot of his better tools leave him open. If you're able to exploit their hitboxes or whiff punish, you're getting so much off of him. Unlike uh, Martha Lucina, Ike doesn't have an extremely quick option in Dolphin Slash to net himself out of advantage. Oh my god, these Thunder Jolts. That was that was so smart. He knew he couldn't engage with the, like any Peach's aerials because they might get like outed by the disjoints. But the Thunder Jolt just kept poking away at him until he couldn't recover. This is also another one of those matchups where Peach is extremely lightweight. Actually, he's a boon to him because Mars isn't going to be able to get a lot of his combos, so he's going to get a couple of two yeah, pieces. <laughs> and he's going to die if he gets touched by back air. Uh, oh, man. All right. I'm trying to talk that good, oh, but there's the bad. <laughs> so we should not just talk about how Peach is weight. Hey, you should just talk anything about Pichu. Uh, can someone feed this kid some orange berries, please? Oh. He hungry. Hungry lad. We should Pichu should definitely hold like a heavy stone. Hold up. He's, he's got the Team Aqua bandana on. We don't feed criminals around here, Frank. <laughs> We don't feed criminals around here. I feel like that's illegal. <laughs> Pichu's done some time. This Pichu's been in prison, man. This Pichu's seen some stuff. Was he born in prison? He might have been. <laughs> he ain't a Raichu for a reason. <laughs> Which I don't get why he'd be on Team Aqua because <laughs> electricity beats water. Oh my. You're wild for this one. He would have definitely that died if he landed. I know Mars was a wild man, quiet and stuff, but like, no, no, no. Can't just be outright disrespecting New Jersey like this. I mean, Especially, he is. I mean, he switched up. Uh, <laughs> nobody likes Jersey, man. Not even people in Jersey. I mean, that's true. Pichu's whiff grab is so cute. He's like, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's like when you're walking past your homeboy in the school hallway and you bump into him like, yo, bro, I'm sorry. Yo. That yo. being said, though, that, that was that Nair into a... Uh, Nair into Albert, man. Yeah, I didn't even have to look to know what it was. <laughs> yo, <laughs> right, MPS went up. <laughs> Nair's per second. <laughs> I mean, this is one of... Mars' most practiced characters, and a very good character at that. So, Air dodge. Oh, no. If only agility had a hitbox. If only. Should have played Pikachu. 
We're not yeah, there yet. He keeps We're trying not... to contest, but my guy has a sword. Yeah, don't do that. One one great key and mark of a player is uh, getting back from disadvantage without getting touched again. And Pichu was more than capable of that, but he's... Jackal really wants the W. <laughs> He wants, he wants something. <laughs> when he that was his, excellent. He had to get him at like 190 something. Nice catch. There's so much work put into that stock. But now, Jackal's already sitting at a prime enough percentage where a couple of good interactions, Mars takes this. Oof, that was really close. You said a couple? Just one. Hey, listen, one wayward back air or a, like a, a smash attack read. Oh, and yeah, no. we're chilling. Get down. Uh, Even up there if you do That it. was so good. The landing up there to cover the range of the landing. One interaction, man. Nice. One, one, one there. Let the crew know. He doesn't submit to anyone. Everyone's just swinging today, man. Everyone's trying to swing. Hey, listen. New England's got a lot of swords. They got to let it shine. A uh, big spill put out the graphic. Like, what What should we be looking out for when we come to New England? There's blade. just sorties blade. everywhere. <laughs> blade. Have you studied the blade? Have you studied the blade? <laughs> might want to might hit up that, that kid in your senior class who wore a fedora and brandishes his katana <laughs> collection the entire time and brush up on that one. That's the Joker means incoming. That's, yeah, I that's love I love the purse owner games. 